Oh, Oh, Jesus, that was a very scary moment. <laughs> <laughs> These chairs aren't the most <laughs> no. stable at all. Right. Hello. <laughs> we meet again. So uh, this is different, isn't it? Uh, we're doing a podcast. Because, you know, there's not enough of them. No, with, with, with all the shit going on with copyright strikes, we thought the best thing to do is, instead of using clips to make our videos funnier, we're going to rely on our own comedic values and stuff in the news. Exactly. So uh, <laughs> this is... The uh, Shite Talk Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there you go. Where did we get the name? Well, to be honest, we're going to be talking Just shite. <laughs> two Irish Cons lads sitting down talking at, shit. At a pool table. <laughs> Pretty much, we got, we got a giraffe in the back there. Uh, you may recognise him from a certain video we did recently. Um, Jack knows him very well. It's I think we've named him Gareth. Big, boy, name. big boy Gareth, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that's him. Uh yeah, why have we decided to do a podcast? Um, simply because we feel like we have uh, a lot to offer in this kind of area. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a job. <laughs> yeah, um, we, we feel like we have a lot to offer you guys. <laughs> uh, I have two years technical experience in bullshitting. <laughs> you know? We didn't leave in sort of English. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're pretty fucking good. Um, but no... Um, I don't know, like just why not? Because I, I, for a while, I wanted to change the verdict into a, a podcast, and obviously the verdict is a football series, and uh, you know I wanted to extend the episodes and different different pieces and that. But uh, I decided, you know, not a lot, not all of my audience are you know wanting football content, so why not just do a podcast about? Everything really, as like more often than not, there will be football to discuss, and particularly today, yeah, definitely there's today, a lot to talk about <laughs> football wise today. But yeah, like I remember there was a video we did on your channel recently. It was a um, what was it? Never have I ever. That, oh yes, that went pretty. Yeah, that that, that went, up a bit. That that was. I think that's my most popular video on my channel. It, yeah. it, it got 151 views. In the end, there was about thir the most. There was 32 comments. <sighs> Which YouTube has taken a lot of them because apparently a lot of them were spam, which they, they were. <laughs> they were spam. But like, there was times in that video where we just got talking into like random shit. Oh, like, yeah. We, we got into random stories about the near, uh, the near death. Near death experiences. Ghost encounters. <laughs> you know, different pieces like that. And I just thought, you know, like this... I, I was watching a video back and I enjoyed watching that. Mm. I enjoyed, you know... Uh, reflecting on different bits and pieces like that, so I thought, decided why not make a podcast. So here we are, the Shy Talk. Welcome, podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Episode one. Um, so obviously at the start of each episode, we're gonna, you know, line out what it is we're gonna be doing throughout uh, each episode. Um, at the minute, these will be on my channel because you know, you know, we want to. Aaron's get house, Aaron's camera, Aaron's <laughs> light, Aaron's laptop, Aaron's mic, Aaron's weight, Aaron's chairs, Aaron, <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> Your camera, in fairness. I oh, yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, as time goes on and more people hopefully start enjoying it, please go. <laughs> we'll uh, maybe make a, a joint channel where we can uh, post clips and maybe post a whole podcast. Maybe start posting them on Spotify. You know, branch out. And all oh, that. oh, bit of money, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. This is not. It just isn't. But um, yeah, let's just let's get into it. I suppose the first topic we're going to be talking about today. I think. You know, the, the only place we can really start uh, after last night and just this week in general is the Champions League. Yes. The quarterfinals are done, semi finals are mapped out, and yeah, we're down to the last four at last. Now, <laughs> the first match I think we can discuss is going to be last night. Yes. What a game. Is that. <laughs> One second. Twelve seconds later. Anyway, um, <laughs> intermission over. Back to what we were discussing before. Uh, Tottenham are through. They've beaten Man City in quite possibly, well, definitely one of the best games. One of the best games I've ever seen. A hundred percent. I think. What was it five goals in what twenty-one minutes? Uh, I yeah. mean, in a Champions League semi-final, that's mad. It's crazy. Um, Raheem Sterling gave them the lead. Then a double from Son that only equalised, but then gave Spurs the lead. Uh, Bernardo Silva then equalised again, and then Sterling scored again to give City the lead. That was, bear in mind, this is all inside 20, 25 minutes. Mm. Um, second half starts, City get a goal um, through Aguero. 
Then Fernando Llorente scores. Very questionably. Very questionably. There's a lot of debate. Um, and I think we will discuss that as we progress through this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Llorente <coughs> scored. And as things stood then, Spurs going through on away goals. And then City score in the 92nd minute. Raheem Sterling, which what, with what would have been his hat-trick, only to be ruled out for offside by VAR as Aguero was offside in the build-up. That was it. Spurs through. I mean, that's. I mean, you couldn't really answer a more dramatic. As a neutral, I think that was one of the best games you could, have, you could have ever watched. This. I think that's one of the best games I've ever seen this season. Oh, absolutely incredible! But I mean, I have watched United PSG. I thought that was pretty fucking decent, but I mean that just was a different level of. As a neutral as well, you're allowed to fucking you know enjoy it more. Yeah, you're not really like hoping one team scores or one person scores. You're just there for the goals, and fuck me, did they deliver. Oh, it was, it was absolutely incredible. But there was no shortage of controversy. Two massive um, decisions made by VAR. Mm. Uh, the first of which was the Fernando Llorente goal. What was your opinion on that? So I watched the highlights again this morning, just to obviously go back to it. And in my opinion it's 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 very close i mean there's arguments to say that his hand is in a, a natural position he's not really it's not far out as far out from his body to say that you know he's deliberately trying to score with his hand mm. the other thing i would say as well is that like the ball is it taking a deflection off a defender's head or a defender's gone up in front of him and blocked yeah. his line of sight or something like that yeah and when that happens as well you know you're kind of not expecting to score yeah so when the ball hits off a part of your body you know, it, it is kind of... What was funny about that goal as well, though, Josh, <coughs> Josh actually called when the corner was given. He was like, Laurentiis going to score from this. Fuck off. Yeah, he says, Laurentiis going to score from this, and he fucking did. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, you can keep talking about that. I'll try and get up the... Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, look, as, as you say, I think Pep Guardiola came out this morning and said, you know, he thought it was off... He thought, oh, sorry, he thought it was a handball. Obviously, you would expect him to say that. But... Um, I mean, it's it's very very tight. It is you, you, you're on you're talking about borderline between yeah. I mean, I suppose this is the reason why we have VAR because the referee making a decision like that is almost impossible. Yeah, and but at the same time, like I don't know, like it was. Um, I mean, you I wanted to I talk about the, the the camera angles. Yeah, I can't get the image. I'll find the image. I'll try and put it up there now. But anyway, it's he was given a certain angle on it, and. Um, I think this angle wasn't sufficient. I think he was only given the one angle, and that was the one that was sort of behind the goal. Mm. And I think when it's from that angle, it's very, very tough for the um, for the the referee to see. But that's got to be down to the fellas who are sending them the clips to mm. look at. Like, um, I think as well in a situation like that, when it's a Champions League semi final, and you're thinking that this goal literally could decide the tie, mm. one camera angle. Is not enough. And to be for for everything that we hype VAR up to be, and that it's meant to be this groundbreaking thing that makes football fair. One camera angle checked, or one angle checked in a Champions League semi final for a goal that's going to decide the fate of this tie. It's mind boggling. It, it is. really is. And we're looking at a City team who who are being dubbed as one of maybe the best teams we've seen in English football, mm. and they're talking. Well, they're not talking, but people are talking up a quadruple for them. That has just been shattered by one decision. Now, I I think it's very hard to think Laurenti's hand is, is in a natural enough position. I don't think he's deliberately moved his hand towards the mm. ball. But I think the fact that he's got any sort of touch on it is giving him an advantage which is against the, the, the yeah. laws of the game. It's a, a very tough one to take for Man City. Very tough. Yeah, like you say, it is it's literally... As you say, I suppose any advantage that gives yeah. him that is against the rules. Exactly. Um, and I'm not just saying that. I don't like Tottenham. <clears throat> we all know that. I yeah. do not like Tottenham. I, but I, Tottenham are bottle jobs. We, we are aware they of are, this. They are, but um, I think they put in a very good performance last night. Genuinely, Yeah, I think that as well. And But the one thing I think we can agree, defensively last night, for the first 15 minutes... Mm. Neither, shambles. Neither team was there. Shambles. You don't like, mind that though. No, 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 you don't. But I, I wanna I was watching the highlights again for I think it was either Son's first goal or second goal. The Man City defender gets it. He passes it straight on Min Son's feet. Laporte, yeah. Yeah. And it's just 
I think that was was that his first or second goal? I think it was his second goal. Yeah, and it's absolutely he's a fucking that was a finish as well. Yeah, Jesus it was. Christ. Son, I think is definitely he's starting to get the uh, the praise he deserves. I think he's been an absolute baller mm. for some time. And you think about everything he's done this year. He had the South Korea, yeah, competitions, all that kind of stuff. He was away. He came back. Like Harry Kane out this fella in, you know. Um, we got the picture here. This was the angle that was given. Um, for like that. I mean, look, that, it's tough to see from that angle. I mean, I, I suppose the argument is there is that his arm, when the ball is being played in, is facing the direction. Yeah. If that, if you, if you get what I'm trying to say there. Like I just feeling the kind of arm to tie or hip, whatever it was, and in. That's what I thought initially it was. Um, well, not initially, but when I looked at the replays back from every angle. Mm. Um, but. If I'm looking at it in the referee's position, he makes the right call in the end because he's only given that angle. That's all he can go by. So yeah, I think we we would be talking about something differently if he'd be given three or four angles and it was a yeah. little bit more clear. But he's only been given that angle, and it's not a good angle. It's um, it's very difficult to call. Um, I think he's made the right decision in the end. To be honest, given uh, what given he given, was, yeah. given what he was given to to go by, but uh, the second VAR decision was. More somehow more dramatic than the, the first. Oh yeah. Um. So last minute of the game, um. City try to play it through ball. Eriksson loses <coughs> the ball, and on its way through, Bernardo Silva gets a flick on it, um. Whether it be intentional or not, and Aguero's in an offside position. He plays in Sterling, who cuts inside onto his left, slots it past Lloris. Celebrations. The Etihad goes fucking mental. Mm-hmm. I went mental. I it was it was unbelievable. It. It, it was almost like that time Barcelona got that... Uh, the Roberto goal, yeah. yeah. Um, it was that level of crazy. fucking hell, yeah. Yeah, like, you could see the the degree, like, Pochettino looked absolutely finished with life. You know I mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he must have been thinking, like, what the it, fuck have I got to do to get some decent defenders? All I could think of in my head was, it's happened again. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> but in the end, like, Guardiola running up and down the line. Oh, like, gee, it's, it's almost... It was almost destiny that something which is gonna yeah fucking happen. VAR, though, what it is has been this season. It's just, do, do you know what? In the end, it's the right call. It is. Oh, it is. When you look back at it, it whether is. or not Bernardo Silva meant the touch to go through to Aguero, any contact, it did. It did, and Aguero was in an offside position, so you can't say it's not heartbreaking for City. Oh yeah, easily, absolutely like. heartbreaking. Like Sterling was in the corner sliding, everyone had lost their mind, and the referee just goes, "No, no, no, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no, on this one, boys. not today." <laughs> um, incredible. But Spurs through, and they will face Ajax. Now, yeah, I want to talk about Ajax for a minute. Go ahead. Fuck me, the nineteen-year-old. Delish, delish. He was he captain in Ajax. Yeah. Scores the winner to beat Juventus. He won the um, Golden Boy Award, didn't he? Mm. As well. Um, Deleted. I mean, what? Jesus Christ! Um, incredible, incredible game. And from the start, it looked like they were finished. Ronaldo header gives them. Yeah, it was easy. It was a quick goal, you know. From the start, and you're thinking, okay, here it is. This here is this the is the end, yeah. For uh, for Ajax, um, and then they somehow managed to get themselves back into it, um, and and win the game, <laughs> like. A great header by Delish. It was to, oh, it was unbelievable to win the game. They could have had more. There was a, I think it was a Ziek goal, which was eventually ruled out for offside. What a fucking bang and finish! If that was mm. awarded, would have been Jesus Christ, an incredible <laughs> goal. And Delish actually came out afterwards and said it was more the Real Madrid game that the one four one was more difficult. Really? Yeah. Jesus Christ! I suppose that says something then. Like, I mean, it really does. Uh, and to be honest, it's. That must be really fucking <coughs> tough for Juventus to take. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember watching the 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 camera pan to Ronaldo and him walking. I, I yeah, I, I I do like Ronaldo. Mm. Oh yeah, and I did. In all honesty, I wanted Ajax to win, mm. but we're seeing him walk off the pitch like that. You did feel for him. I mean, he's he's left Real Madrid to to come to Juventus simply to win the Champions League. Do you know now? This is the first time in a decade yep. that he's not finished in the. Champions League semi-finals, like he's been there with Real Madrid every single year, yeah. which is incredible. And that was the thing for Juventus, the big thing. Ronaldo is the Champions League man. Oh yeah, without a doubt, he is the man you call when you need a Champions League man. title. And they brought him in for the sole purpose of winning the Champions League. Oh yeah, because 
Syria yeah, is is there not is, is there any I mean that's a piss around Luke, Roma really kind of give him a bit of a go around Napoli. sometimes Napoli, like Napoli Inter Milan AC there. Milan yeah. are trying to come back into it but it's very very slow at the minute yeah, Juventus are way ahead My, yeah. and you look at even the squad that Juventus have like, yeah, like that's probably, Dybala's on the bench mm. that's how good their side is it's a similar problem with um, PSG isn't it in, mm. in Ligue 1 they're still struggling in the Champions League but fair play to Ajax I mean who's to say they can't go all the way now I mean, yeah, what was, what, why would they not think that? I mean, you, I suppose, you've, knocked, you've knocked out Juventus and Real Madrid. Madrid. I mean, who are they playing? Barcelona or Liverpool? There? No. They're playing, Tot- they're playing Tottenham. Why would you fucking fear Tottenham? Tottenham are bottle jobs. Mm. Notorious semi final bottle jobs. Exactly. exactly. I, if I was in Ajax right now, I'd be, think, I'd be making me plans to get the flight and the hotel booked. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's almost. <laughs> the belief is incredible. Though, oh, like, yeah. I'm such a young team. Dusan Tadic, I need to give a search shout to him. He must be thinking, what the fuck has happened to my career? Yeah, literally. I, last he went, season, I was in a relegation scrap with Southampton this time last year. Now, I'm in a Champions League semi-final. Being hailed as one of the best players in the Champions League this season for the stuff he's done. Incredible. It really was. Um, but yeah, that, that should be an interesting one. Ajax should have nothing to fear. And they won't have anything to fear. No. I think Tottenham is going to be a horrible game for Tottenham. I really do. I think Tottenham need to... See uh, Ajax as not at this young team, the yeah. underdogs. They, they need to, to see them, them respect, as yeah, yeah. They need to give them the full respect and see them as proper competition. Yeah, exactly. Contenders now at this point. Boy. Right, so we're gonna move on to the next quarter final, which was Barcelona versus Manchester United. Three 0 on the night. Uh, Lionel Messi at his absolute best, scoring two, very much helped by David de Gea for the second, and a wonderful strike by Felipe Coutinho to book themselves a place in the semi-final. Jack Grievach, Man United fan, um, Man United slash Preston, um, has, you know, feels very strongly about this game and, you know, he's been wanting to give his thoughts on it, so I'll uh, let you take the wheel, just like Ollie does, incidentally. <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't help yourself. I didn't actually script that, I was just... That was, that was like, <laughs> oh yeah, fuck it. Shank him a bit more. Right, so obviously, lads, um, as Aaron said, lost 3-0 Barcelona in that game. Probably one of... I wouldn't say the worst Manchester United performance, but definitely up there. And I'm going to start off with one person in particular, and I'd say Aaron knows who I'm going to start off with. Ashley Young, playing left-back... Essentially, left back, so that's Lionel Messi he's on, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Lionel Messi. You're playing Ashley Young. In all my time of watching Ashley Young play this season, I haven't seen him made a single good challenge. Mm. Like, I haven't seen him win the ball. I haven't seen him make any kind of genuine... Any, every time I've seen him tackle, yeah. he's given away a foul. And it's a stupid fucking foul as well. Yeah, yeah. The other thing as well, crossing. Mm. I don't know if you saw what happened last, or last weekend or whatever it was where he was played... And every single cross he put into the box... Just the West Ham game, yeah. yeah. Every single cross he put into the box, missed. Mm. And it came back out to him, he put it back in, missed again. Yeah. I've said this now for a long time. Ashley Young is not... Should not be on that Manchester United team. He's not captain. Yeah, he's captain. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made the man who missed every single cross at the weekend, puts him up against Lionel Messi, and just, just, just to make it a little bit better, makes him captain. Mm. Like, I was thinking, why? I mean, I, as much as I don't want him to be captain, Smallin, yeah, centre back, yeah. David De Gea, no, well, not in the night, but notably reliable yeah. for most of the time. Even someone like Paul Pogba, yeah. just a big player. I think Pogba disappeared against Barcelona. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Big time. But I, the, the highlights I watched this morning, just to recap. He had one shot from about 30 yards out, yeah. and it was a shit. Yeah. It was on the ground. It had fuck all pace in it. And I say to Stegen had about maybe fucking 30 seconds to just adjust himself to deal with it. Like, there's no, um, <clears throat> uh, there's no denying that this is a poor United team. Oh, yeah, easily. It's a poor United team. And I, I said this at the start of the season as well. I like Ali Gunnar Solskjaer. And I like when he was brought in. Any person who thought that we were going to go and beat Barcelona in that fucking game at the Camp Nou is deluded. The Manchester United fans who think this side is good enough to beat Barcelona in the Camp Nou and overturn a one-goal lead, deluded. Yeah. We might... We, and honestly, what I was thinking was, you know what, we might actually, in it, like, you know, delay the inevitable. Yeah. We might hold out for a first half. 
Yeah. Absolute dog shit. Well, I would say, Lionel Messi, holy fucking shit. Unbelievable. What Absolute. I think we'll we'll go through the goals. Um, first goal was Ashley Young pissing about at the yeah. back. Yeah, Ashley Young. Turns. I just, I, <laughs> Ashley Young. He, 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 gives, I, he gives it away. Yeah, first off, he gives it away. And then what happens then? He, he dives in to his, like, to Messi's. Messi's on the wing. And he just dives in to the wing. Mm. Messi is a world-class player. You should know Messi is going to cut inside. He's not going to just, you know, stick to the wing just because he's a winger. He's going to cut yeah. inside and he's going to take his chance. He keeps going. He makes his Fred. Oh, gee, it was um, just disgusting, and that Meg. He does like a little kind of feint to shoot with his left. Smalling and Jones both go that way. I think a lot of that was down to either the both a mixture between the, the dummy from Messi and the run from Suarez. He made a very good run. Mm. Um, and Messi tucks it in. Beautifully, oh, it's a brilliant goal. Um, second goal, I mean, David De Gea. Dog shit. David De Gea. David De Gea as well. I've watched last three games I've seen, he's made, I think, three mistakes that have led to goals. I think two mistakes in the Premier League where he's tried to roll the ball out. Yeah. And the ball has either had too much pace that the person he's rolling out to can't reach it in time. The opposition get the ball, they come back, get an attack, score. Yeah. I think... A lot of this is down to I think he I don't think his head's in the right place at the minute. I think there's a no. lot of talk about his contract. Um, there is a lot of I think Real Madrid yeah, being mentioned. Real Madrid is definitely. I mean, you can see why Real Madrid won because what Thibaut Courtois. He's struggling. Yeah. <laughs> what um, an absolute shite bag he was. That is. I'm, if I was Real Madrid, I'd be fuming. This is quite funny. I've seen this during the week. It's a, 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 a Walker's ad. It was for the Champions League, and you have Messi there. Just robbing crisps off the head. <laughs> <laughs> for a week that's in it. I was just like, oh, they knew. That's incredible. <laughs> they they knew. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, the other thing I want to say about the game as well. In the first ten five minutes, yeah, five minutes, mm. we had about two or three brilliant chances. Rashford, Rashford hit had there. a brilliant chance. He, he tried to dink it or something. I think he should. He, or he, he swing, swing, swing with his left. So yeah, it was just the wrong technique. And it's it's a perfect ball. The touches let him down. Second chance, McTominay touch let him down. We had a chance later in the game. It was identical to the one Rashford had in the first half. Touch again, let him down. Dalot's touch let him down. It was like... The touch It was the touch wasn't there. The performance wasn't there. Mm. And in truth, it was just... It was painful to watch. The only good thing... And the only reason I decided to watch that Manchester United game was just to see how good Barcelona were going to play. Oh, it was an exhibition. I think it's the best I've seen Barcelona play. Oh, yeah. Since. Especially... Like... In a, <coughs> in a long time. Since they won the Champions League. Mm. Last, like, back to the... Beautiful tiki taka style of football. I thought Coutinho was excellent on the left. Oh, he's brilliant. And the goal he scored as well. Um, Gee, fuck me. Yeah, what a goal as well. I think Artur in the middle was good. Rakitic, excellent. Busquets, I don't think he gets it. Busquets had fucking Pogba in his pocket. Oh, yeah, easily. Um, Messi, magical. Suarez did well, I thought. Suarez, um, is, a, is a, I think, is a great player just for... Yeah, I think... Um, he, he creates the space. Yeah, and the he runs he makes for the age he's at, his movement is still fucking mm. top class. Uh, Barcelona through. I, I'm still not convinced Barcelona can win it though. Oh, I, know, he, it I, I think Liverpool would be very confident. I mean, I suppose Liverpool have this belief, I suppose, from last season that they made it to the Champions League final. Yeah. They were robbed. Yeah, well, yeah. not robbed actually. Courtois robbed them. Yeah, Carriers. Oh, Carriers. I'm probably saying Courtois. <laughs> fuck's sake. Um, yeah, I think Liverpool would probably be favourites going into that. But when you have Messi in your team, there's always a chance. Mm. Um, I think Messi proved again. I think I, for me, he's the goal. I don't know about you. I don't know. I think you're a Ronaldo fan, but I, 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 I am a Ronaldo fan. Obviously, Manchester United ties Ronaldo, but I, I'm not one of the people where I say right, die hard. Yeah, Ronaldo is my favorite. I think you have to. I you think have to it, enjoy what yeah, they're here. Yeah, literally now they're they're in their early or late thirties now. I think at this stage, yeah. well, Ronaldo, Ronaldo's thirty four, incredibly, mm, and, and Messi's, he's, Messi's thirty one. Like I mean, these lads have got maybe four years. Five tops, maybe. That's the thing with Ronaldo as well. He's got the body of a 20 year old. Yeah, and he's, he's 30 fucking. <laughs> he's 34 and he's still as prolific as ever. I don't. Messi hasn't got much worse, I don't think, since no. you know, the last few years. That's the thing as well. People you often hear say, oh, Messi's got worse. He's not scoring as good goals. When Messi doesn't score, he's assisting. But he's still got 40 goals. Yeah, this plus season. 19 for assists. 10, for the yeah. last 10, 11 seasons in a row. Like, you know, it's. It's pretty fucking. Yeah, he's some like thirty something goals this season, thirty forty goals this season, and he's always. I think I don't think it's, I don't think his passing is always as appreciated as it should be. Oh no, it's like there's some passes there that are just. There was the one for the Coutinho goal. He pinged it over. Oh, that was that was perfect. That was unbelievable. Um, but uh, yeah, they'll face Liverpool. That should be an interesting one. Liverpool beat Porto very 
handy indeed. And I think we all knew that was going to... Yeah, 4-1 last night, 2-0 <coughs> in the first leg. Um, handy as ever, I think. The fucking butterfly's pissing me off. Oh, he's, uh, he's pissing me off more. Same man, butterfly as the TikTok video, boys. So if you're wondering, if you didn't watch that video, boys, I threw a shoe at a butterfly. <laughs> the same butterfly. He's and still my, here. My shoe managed to end up in the toilet somehow. I should probably let him free. I think we torch him. I'm not that cruel, lad. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> that evil. <laughs> but yeah, that was the Champions League quarterfinals, semi-finals now. Tottenham, Ajax, and uh, Liverpool, Barcelona. It's it's nice to see uh, Real Madrid aren't there for once. I think it's nice. and uh, It's a good change of pace, so we're not going to have a yeah. Madrid final every single year. Incredible, you know? though, that probably the three favourites, Real Madrid, Juventus, Man City, all out before the semi-finals. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that's good though. I think that opens it up to a little bit more. You know, yeah. we're not going to see a, a, you know, we're going to see a winner of the competition we haven't seen. Yeah, like my favorite at the minute is Liverpool. I would agree with you there. Um, I think just all around the park they're better than Barcelona. I think um, they're more rounded than Barcelona. Yeah, like Barcelona are very top heavy. Um, I don't think they're the, the kind of defenders that Liverpool like. Virgil yeah, van Dijk, I incredible. was going to say Virgil Van Dijk. I think is going to. Yeah, like I think. Jordi Alba isn't the best defender. Can be got by Salah easily. Mm. Um, I think down the other side, Roberto isn't even a right back. I think he's more a winger or like a he's right a, mid he's a midfielder. Yeah. Um, can be got at by Mane if no other it's him or Nelson Semedo, whoever it is. If Mane can get at his his best, where he yeah. can take on defenders and then ping a couple of balls in the box, I think it'll be a real struggle for Roberto that night. It'll be interesting as well to see if Longley and PK can put up with the movement of Firmino. It's it's going to be a great game. I think it's a it's a very even game, and I think yeah, I think we should have a couple of score predictions and then a final prediction. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I let you predict the Barcelona Liverpool game. Barcelona Liverpool. I think it's tough to say over two legs. I think the first leg's in the Camp Nou, I believe. I think that could be a one-all draw, and then I think Liverpool will win <clears> two-one <throat> at Anfield. Okay, I'm gonna say Barcelona are gonna win one-nil at the Camp Nou. Yeah, and Liverpool are gonna win two-one at Anfield. Very tight, very tight indeed. Ajax and Spurs. I'm looking forward to this one. I really am. Um, I don't know which leg is where. I'm gonna say Ajax. Will win one nil at home, and I think they'll also win. Oh, <laughs> in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, <laughs> critically acclaimed two one. Oh, Ajax at so I'm gonna say at home, Ajax are gonna win two nil, and I'm also gonna say they're gonna win two nil. <laughs> we have no faith in no. Tottenham at all. Spurs are both the jobs, boys. If they somehow win this, I'll honestly be very surprised. I'm not going to say I'll do anything because fucking no one Spurs that they'll, they'll end up fucking winning now. Um, I also want to say, do you believe in the Drake curse? Oh yes. Kevin De Bruyne responded with a picture of absolutely. Uh, I mean, that's just that is something that's true, hundred uh, percent. We just can't. We're not going to talk about it, boys. I don't want any curse shit. I've, I've a game at the weekend. I don't want any curse shit. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think that's very much true. So we're going for a Liverpool Ajax final. I think Liverpool will win that. Oh, I think so. I think Liverpool. I think Ajax will do well to get to the final. I actually want Ajax to win. At this I stage. do as well. But I think if you're being realistic, you have to put your. Yeah, you have to be realistic at the same time. Um. So that's that. That was the Champions League. So lads, the second thing we want to talk about on this podcast is Article Thirteen. Now I know, and we both know, Article Thirteen was passed uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, we originally did want to talk about this a few weeks ago, but things came up and we obviously weren't able to do it till now. But we're going to talk about it now and address it now. So, what is Article 13? I should try to find it. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we did prepare for this, boys, but um, Article 13, yeah, I, I'm, from what I roughly know, is essentially where stuff like... For, we'll take an example from me and Aaron for YouTube. We'll use clips and stuff like that from TV shows, um, clips from the internet, and we'll be allowed to use them without breaching copyright and frictions because it's uh, part of the fair use policy, mm. which is where you can use a, a clip from a show or TV as long as it's a documentary. Like the the, the film we're recording is either documentative, reportive, uh, informational, stuff like that. It has to be, um, I suppose, just us giving our opinion on something. We can't just literally put it up and say, this is ours because I suppose yeah. that's that's... That's copyright and plagiarizing, plagiarizing yeah. and all that kind of shite. So, like, for to give an example, 
<laughs> well, yeah, this is very convenient. We decided to do it this week. This happened uh, during the week. Uh, I went to post a video on uh, First Dates UK. Uh, this was a video a lot of you wanted. Uh, a lot of you really enjoyed the first one on First Dates Ireland. Uh, I thought it was a good video myself. It was, good. It was um, a good video. If I do say so myself. Uh, so, you know, I asked for like 25 likes and I would do a second one on First Dates UK. Smash the fucking like target. I think got 30 something likes. Um, so, during the week I recorded a, a video on First Dates UK. Edited it. Got it ready to go. Put it out on YouTube. And then I get an email from YouTube telling me that the video has been claimed by Channel 4 and I think it was Warner Brothers or some shit like that. And it would be, you'd be unable to view it in the UK and Ireland, which is where the majority of my audience is. So the, the video was, was dead. <laughs> yeah. Gone. I think what this shows is that big companies, they don't care whether you're a small no. channel or something like that. They're greedy bastards. You wouldn't mind it as much. You obviously would mind, but you wouldn't mind as much if you were ma actually making videos off it. Mm. I have 165 subscribers. Yeah. It's not like <laughs> we're not like trying to fucking yeah, steal their work. Yeah, exactly. Like, I just made a reaction to it. I found it a bit cringy. So I put clips of the show on the video. And yeah, gone. Never to see the light of day. <laughs> no, bit because, annoying. Bit annoying. Yeah, it is very annoying. I suppose. And this is the thing that's going to happen now. Obviously, lads, it's not coming to effect yet. It's going to be a couple of years that it comes to effect. Yeah, it was only past. Was four years? Yeah. It's be around a four or five year period before we see the proper effect. So there's still hope for our... <laughs> our channels. <laughs> a little bit of hope. But uh, no. Uh, the other thing I did notice as well, and I think it's quite funny, is that I think it was about 13, 9 to 13 MPs voted wrong yeah. on the... On the, oh, the, the Article 13. This is, these are the people who are deciding the fate of the internet. And they can't tell the difference between yes and no. <laughs> Yet they think they, can, they, they know best for the internet. This is uh, an article from Wired. It says, uh, The European Union Directive on Copyright in the Digital Single Market to use the phone name requires the likes of YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to take more responsibility for copyright material being shared illegally on their platforms. It's become known by the controversial segment Article 13, which critics claim will have a detrimental impact on creators online. YouTube and YouTubers have become the most vocal opponents of the proposal. Um, so, I mean, that's what, that's what they have to say. Um, I don't think it's by any means, people, a lot of people are saying it's the end of the internet, and it's the end no, of YouTube. I think, that, that. I think that's a big kind of scare tactic to make people yeah. trying to be like, oh, maybe you should reconsider this, or maybe we should repose a rebuttal or something Just like, like that. What, what it will do is, I suppose, um, make people... Um, more, Rethink their content. Yeah, make people more just careful of what they're using. Mm -hmm. Obviously, sometimes it might not make videos as fun or as funny. It might that is, clip. The, yeah, the other thing is, like, you think even music and stuff like that, but background music, it can't be licensed, it can't be owned by another artist. That's another thing, like, there's a lot of music out there on YouTube that can be used, and as is... Non-copyrighted. Is non-copyrighted, royalty-free, whatever they want to call it. And that that's fine, like, a lot of the music I use is, mm. you know, non-copyrighted. Um, so, I don't think it's as deadly as people are making it out to be but it's not nice at the same time it is going to take a lot of the fun out of certain yeah, videos it definitely is you know there's a lot of things that we do and we think oh there's a perfect clip for that online just to emphasize the humor of it yeah and now we can't use that obviously for we have to rely on our actual comedic skills yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I trust myself. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I might, I might retire now. No? <laughs> we had a good run, boys. Yeah. But, yeah, that is that. I mean, it's it's shitty enough. I mean, there's still time for, as you say, for rebuttal or, you know, the the, the decision to be overturned. But uh, for the minute, this is what we'll have to deal with. And as you say, <clears> it's not going to come into effect until, was it 2022 or three or something? In around, yeah, we've got another four years like you were saying I yeah so. so i mean we'll see we'll see how it pans out it should be interesting nonetheless but uh so if any of you guys want to start sponsoring us and giving us money to make videos <laughs> that'd be great <laughs> just while we can yeah please subscribe <laughs> um, i think we should consider doing a raka raka move and just post them whatever the fuck we want and when they when, they, when we're about a year till 
I think we just post as much copyright <laughs> shit as we can. A bit of a revolution. Yeah. <laughs> just stick it to Article 13. Just everything copyrighted. Nothing age restricted. Just fucking. Yeah, exactly. Do you see the thing? Um, a KSI post on Twitter is, is new. Oh, album. that was brilliant. His, his new album. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yes, his new album is out, and he says something like, um, "Oh, this. I'll get the all, tweet for you now. All, yeah. all, this, all this music is um, copyright free. It's the new age. All that kind of shit." He gets a response from Jake Paul, and it's one of the funniest he's ever seen. I'll let Jack, I'll let Jack get it now. It is, it is, it's a brilliant response from a man who is just an icon flying <laughs> at the minute. So, the album is new, no, the tour is New Age, is it? Or is the album, yeah, the album new? new Age? Well. Album is New Age as well. So, uh, let's just see if I can fucking find this tweet. Um, so KSI tweeted out on the 12th of April, uh, if you want to use our music in your YouTube videos or anything else, then go ahead. We ain't on that copyright or claiming bullshit. We out here letting people, letting everybody eat good. This is a new age. We are fully independent, so we make the rules. Enjoy the album. Jake, <laughs> Jake Paul replied to this tweet saying, hey, I fuck with this idea, bro. I've been on the same shit. I'm going to do this. I've, I'm tired of articles being greedy. This is the start of a change. Respect, bro. KSI responded with, shut the fuck up, you cunt. <laughs> I mean, that's brilliant. That is, honestly... Shut some down. That is... <laughs> gee, I, honestly, I, I was expecting a few responses yeah. after this, but I think... Um, I think this, this was kind of... I think Jake Paul saw that KSI hit up uh, Logan Paul after his dog died. Yeah. And there was a bit of mutual respect between them. Jake Paul wanted a bit of that shit as JJ well. JJ has no respect. JJ, JJ just Paul. fucked him right in <laughs> that, the... That made me laugh. It was, but, it was brilliant. What makes this even better is Jake Paul has been accused and is there is clear evidence of him literally striking down people. I think Keemstar came out and said it. He has had several videos struck down by Jake Paul so he made no revenue off it because mm. he used a clip of or two of Jake's yeah. videos so it's just a bit hypocritical that's that, the thing he, there's so many clear ev- pieces of evidence like you said that of him breaching and abusing the copyright yeah. uh, rule and like to, for him to come out and say you know I fuck with this idea I'm on the same shit dude yeah it's, it's, just, it's just bullshit yeah. like. Complete just, bullshit if you're gonna bullshit mate just keep it to fucking apology videos <laughs> just do us all a favor, yeah. Um, well, taking it from two Irish guys who whose podcast is talk, we're so, calling we're, shite talk. We're, we're we're in a fucking shed right now. We're in a, we're in a shed. We're, big boy Gareth, big boy Gareth in the background. He's been a, he's been he's been oddly quiet today. I'd love to know what he's why. <laughs> it's not we put two darts in his eyes. <laughs> they, don't, they don't know that. <laughs> you didn't hear anything. <laughs> but uh, no, it's um, yeah, we kind of went off a tangent there. But I don't know, but you know, unscripted podcasts, you know, this is what happens. This, this is what goes down. So, um, it's been a slow week apart from that. Uh, Very slow. So <laughs> we I, didn't, we didn't pick the best week to do this, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, Champions League, apart from that, there's nothing really, Arkham 13 is a bit of old news at this stage, mm-hmm. but we want to get our thoughts on it. But, um, I suppose I'll use this last kind of section of the podcast to, um, talk about channel updates for... Us both, obviously, this is something very new. Um, what we have planned and shit for the rest of the year. Um, I mean, I'm looking for myself to just improve football videos mm. every single time because, like, I started YouTube just doing football videos. Yeah. Um, this year, my first ever video was a fucking goal recreation episode. <laughs> the origin I, I of this I, channel. I say a lot of you haven't actually seen that. Is uh, I think we tried to recreate Ronaldo's. Knuckleball against mm. uh, Portsmouth. That was a, that's a good video, lads. If you haven't seen that, yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying, always trying to improve football videos. I mean, I'm looking at the minute. I'm getting fucking new equipment and shit. Obviously, money's tight. Big boy, <laughs> big boy Kelly doing a shopping spree now. We're pulling on a bit of a shopping spree. <laughs> um, but no, like, I have a lot. I want to branch out and do other stuff. Other than football videos, obviously football videos are never going to stop for me. I, no, they're I, my favorite videos. Are exactly, ones I love doing and that, if you start your channel on an idea, that's yeah. the idea you're going to keep throughout your channel. Exactly, exactly, and um, obviously I've branched out and started doing gaming videos. We're in the middle of until mm. dawn at the minute. Um, FIFA didn't go so well. FIFA. The problem <laughs> with FIFA is that it's such a shit game now. Yeah, it's just it's so bad. It, 
some of the defending uh, mechanisms where a defender can catch a man with 95 sprint speed. Like Michael Keane catching more Salah. That, that was, was a very that, that, that was a very good... Uh, yeah, I went on a bit of a Twitter rant. <laughs> yeah, that was a, I was like, fuck it. Um, but no, like, I want to do other stuff um, uh, that maybe I, I could reveal now. I mean, we want to do exploring videos, don't we? Yeah, I think this is something... And I've talked to a few people who have subscribed to both of us and seen that we put this idea out there. A lot of people are very interested in us seeing it. And we have, I think, places in mind. Yeah. It's just... Get, we have to, to yeah, and we have to also the thing about exploring videos is we kind of do have to research and check the area to make sure one that it's safe, that we're not going to get you know arrested, yeah, because obviously <laughs> that kind of fucks the video. That, that kind of that's annoying though, isn't it? Like you see people all the time getting like in trouble with the police for like, mm. going into these abandoned buildings when, when there's people off like doing drugs and shit. Yeah, you see like rapists and pedophiles and stuff are out there, and then the, all they can do, all they do is come out and. Give out to people who are in abandoned, exploring abandoned yeah. buildings. Like, As you did so much better crimes. Like at the end of the day, ninety percent. I think Joe Weller came out and said this: the security situation when regards to abandoned buildings has increased because of these kind of videos. Yeah. But at the same time, like, if anything, would that not make you feel like you don't need as much security because like people are literally going in with cameras, yeah. just recording the fucking building yeah. and trying to fake some kind of fucking yeah. Get big on YouTube. Exactly. Future. So like, it's not like we're going in kicking up an abandoned building. Yeah. And to be fair, the building's abandoned. Yeah. We're not gonna rob or burn down a fucking abandoned building. Yeah, like that's, that shit kind of like it just fascinates me. Like you know, like mm. I, I really want to do videos like that, but there's not an awful lot of places <laughs> around us. So. No, there there are areas. I think you have one like one or two areas. Yeah. I have one or two areas. There is supposedly a haunted house in my area. Only issue Do I know is about this? Or... you. I think I told you this as we we explored a different area. Okay. It's the house in the that separates my house. It's a field that separates my house and another house. Right. Magai apparently dies in there. Really. The brother renovates and tries to renovate. He, initially, he tried to stop renovating it or stop people from renovating it mm. because obviously the father wanted to keep the, the natural house and whatever. But um, he was chatting to my mum one day. And my mom goes, oh, obviously, you know, how's, how's things at the house? And he goes, oh, yeah, my dad keeps me company. And I was there, like, sorry, what? I was there behind mom, like, sorry, what? Is what that is somewhere that could, like, legally I, be I, Legally, I think it's not, depending on... If you get permission. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if people are living there or not, or if the man just keeps an eye on the house. Yeah. But it's a very old house. Yeah. I would say the interior. You can see it from uh, my road. It's a very old house. Yeah. Other places uh, include an abandoned church, a random Protestant church that supposedly has mass graves in it. <laughs> and there is also possibly an underground tunnel. Now, this is not confirmed, but according to a story, there's an underground tunnel that leads from the church to a secret uh, Catholic church. What? Which I know about. In, I'd say it's about, if it was a tunnel, it's probably about a 10 minute walk. Yeah. But if it is a tunnel under the fucking ground, it connects a Protestant church to a Catholic church. Why would that even be there? I, I suppose, I think it's something to do with the fact that Protestants, when they came, wanted everyone to be Catholic. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Catholics then, instead of that, devised a tunnel so they could sneak from the Protestant churches to the Catholic church. Yeah. But all I know is it's a very touchy situation yeah. now there are two places i know of again whether or not they're going to be interesting or not we'd obviously have to go there and record mm. and obviously I've, i'm working on that i'm linking them with Aaron obviously to the, discuss whether that's safe or not but we are trying to sort it out i know a lot of people will be like oh a lot of people i've seen a lot of people oh, want this they're pussies oh they're delayed we're not we're we're, we're we're really not trust me we're actually very eager to do this we have tried before <laughs> yeah it didn't go well my camera was a bit fucked yeah like, this was when i first got the gopro yeah this is this is the first day aaron got the gopro we were like fuck it we're doing a record or an exploring video now shit happened yeah we we nearly died we nearly died <laughs> and the camera got none of it yeah so, so bit of a bit of an annoying situation there but that will happen we're we're, we're coming with that is there anything else on your channel that you want to um obviously not really until dawn obviously we're coming to the end of that mm. um also, another idea I had um, is kind of maybe maybe linking into the abandoned stuff, maybe not. But do you ever see like the Sidemen hide and seek videos? Yes. 
I would love to do a video like that somewhere. Or like, find somewhere just fucking huge and just do a fucking hide and seek. Yeah, like and that. I think the other thing as well is we are also trying to link in with other people as well yeah. to make our video, you know, bigger, yeah. better, more quality, better content. Actually, we have a very special football video coming up with uh, a new... Well, no. Oh, well, we've, been, we've been mates for, with him for years. Yeah, but but he's, he's, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. He's, so uh, he's, he's, he's injured at the minute. Yeah, but uh, we're hoping he'll be fit by the day. <laughs> <laughs> for the day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a few people, other people that um, have expressed interest. Have expressed interest, but uh, yeah, <laughs> haven't. <laughs> I don't want to reveal names, but uh, haven't come back to us on this big football video that's coming up. But uh, but you know who you are, you sluts. <laughs> But no, apart from that, we're obviously going to try and keep this going as, as much as we can. Podcasts are very difficult to edit and they're very long and all that kind of shit. Um, apart from that, like, there's more stuff I want to do. I want to do like skits and stuff. I have a yeah. lot of ideas for skits that I think you guys would fucking love. Be entertaining. Um, yeah, apart from that, I mean... I don't. I don't really think too much about videos. I think. <laughs> I think that's a good thing, though. I think if you overthink a video, yeah, you end up kind of getting and doubt yourself. You're like, oh fuck, are people gonna like this? But if you if you just actually say, fuck it, I'm gonna record something today. Sit down. It turns out good. It's good. If it turns out bad. It's bad. Yeah. Scrap it. Do a new one. But like number one on the agenda for me at the minute is doing exploring videos. Yeah. Um. I don't mind actually. I know we're getting into very deep subjects here, but do you believe in ghosts? Do oh, you yeah. think you think ghosts are actually? Okay? Going off topic completely again, I have another good story for you about ghosts. Go ahead. So the other day, it was about 11 o'clock, 11.30 even. Uh, now, actually, to give you background to the story, my dog can't sleep with the kitchen door closed. Mm. So what we've had to do is we've had, for some reason, the dog, a while, for a while, the dog has started scratching at the door, crying, whining. We couldn't figure out why the dog was doing and acting this way. The dog never acted like this. It's only a certain period of time within the last month she started acting like this. So we were like, okay, she's probably lonely. Mm. But again, that would have made sense because she's been like that forever. Yeah. You know, she's been happy with the kitchen door closed. Now all of a sudden, now she's not. Anyway, we started leaving the kitchen door open so she sleeps at the bottom of the stairs, waits for us in the morning. That was fine. Until literally a week ago, mm. what happened? I was up around 11 o'clock. I couldn't sleep. Don't know why. For some reason, I couldn't sleep. Next thing I hear, the dog starts scratching the floor and then like do you know that thing where a dog's paws they scar when they're on like a slippy surface yeah, it's they're kind of slipping yeah, yeah that's what i heard and they started hurling whining and yelping and the dog ran straight up the fucking stairs came into my room and was shaking jack's demented dog <laughs> jack has a demented dog but i think now i know this is gonna sound bullshit i am almost convinced there is something in my house. Like a demon. I'd not, maybe not a demon, but I am very, very confident after a series of events that have happened throughout my course of living in my house, yeah. and topped off with this, that either something either lives in my house yeah. or the area that I live in. Because so much, so much fucking shit has happened. Now, I know this... Believe me, I know this sounds bullshit. <laughs> Please don't, don't abuse me. But uh, there has been a lot of... Subs- bes- <laughs> Fuck, dude! <laughs> I thought I could actually go one recording without slurring me words. Uh, but there has been a lot of um, supernatural shit that has happened in around my area. And, um, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm very interested if I could get some kind of... If I get my hands on a, a ghost thing... Ouija board. A Ouija board... Or even, do you ever see those, oh, the, the, the radio, radio yeah. Yeah, 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 if you don't know what that is, boys, it's basically a little box that, and it flicks through radio channels, and essentially, spirits can use those radio frequencies to communicate with um, with you. Mm. I would be very interested to see if anything happened with that, because I am either certain that my house is haunted by something demonic, or my house is haunted by something passive. So it's a 50-50 shout, and I am, um, I say this, boys, I have slept with a rosary bead on my bed every single night since that has happened. <laughs> really? Swear to God. Fuck. It was proper, my dog has never reacted, I've never been as scared in my life. That is crazy. No, not, I, like, that's the thing. It's one of those things, isn't it, that it, um, you don't believe it until something like that happens yeah. to you, and nothing like that has ever really happened to me. I know when we did the Never Have I Ever, the, the whole shit came up. 
um, about um, had a paranormal experience, some shit. Yeah, I brought the thing about the the banshee, like something knocking on my door in the morning or something. Like that. But it's not exactly conclusive evidence. Like it could be something, could be the wind. Like yeah. our door does that a lot. Even a few days ago, me and Josh were watching YouTube or something, and then we're in the house alone. You hear a knock on the door. Yeah, nothing there. Could have been wind. Could be something. You don't think too much about it. Yeah. So for me. In my personal experience, I don't think I've ever had a paranormal experience, so therefore, I don't believe ghosts are real. But <laughs> I'm yet to be convinced. Yeah, we're, 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 this is the purpose of the Explorer and Abandoned videos, folks. Yeah, to convince Aaron up ghosts are real. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically, I've chatted a lot of shit about my channel. What <laughs> is happening in the future of the True Lily White YouTube channel? We've had a few channel updates before on your channel, haven't we? None um, of them have ever come to fruition. <laughs> but uh, long story short, I'm retiring. Because <laughs> you imagine, that's my retirement. <laughs> One year on YouTube. <laughs> no, um, no. Uh, to be honest, lads, I think the way I'm going at the minute, I put a poll on um, my last video. Already went. <laughs> these chairs, boys, are, we, we've been very cautious we, we sitting on these chairs. Ch it's the most B Tech podcast ever. <laughs> see chairs that don't even fucking work. We're, we're literally low budget YouTubers. But yeah. Um, uh, I put a poll on my last one, and it seems like scary games or something people want. I did Outlast, obviously Outlast, when I was at the start of my channel, had about 18 subscribers doing Outlast, didn't really get the the plaudits I think it deserved. Yeah, it was a good series. <laughs> I, was, I, was very, I actually enjoyed that series a lot. At the minute, I am in, looking and investing in scary games. Obviously, a lot of good scary games you do see on PC, uh, PS4. Xbox One, i struggling at the minute, but I will try my best to find something. The other thing I want to do is I'd like to do, and I brought this up with Aaron. Um, I don't know if any of you watched when you were younger, boys, a program called Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. Now, essentially, this was um, a game show kind of Saturday morning kids thing. Best fucking experience in my life. Best show I've ever watched. In that, they played a game called Bogies. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Oh, yeah. So basically, if you don't know what that is, it's basically where you progressively shout bogey. So it starts off quiet and progressively gets louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. And essentially, the game goes on until one man can't shout bogeys as loud as the other person, or the other person concedes due to the peer pressure of being in public and people yeah. staring at you. <laughs> I was going to say. We could do that, but instead, it's the penis game. Oh. So it's ramped up by about, bogey's a very innocent, nonchalant word. Yeah. Penis is not... You can get like, arrested for that. You can get arrested for that. <laughs> I'm stepping my game up, boys. If this is... I will go... This. No, actually no. Let's, <laughs> let's actually no, let's not do that. Just remember what's going on my channel. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, never mind that. Um... Yeah, but that is one thing I do want to do. Uh, public videos, stuff like that. Obviously, penis game may not be come to fruition. If not, bogeys might come to fruition or something along those lines where we have to shout something, mm. progressively get louder. I think it'd be a bit of crack. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. That. Obviously, it's a bit of danger. Go somewhere, go somewhere in Dublin. Like, yeah, just, yeah. Or go somewhere in Dublin where if we get kicked out of somewhere, it's not a major fucking... Yeah, like if we go if we go anywhere here local, we'll just be like, well, there's... Fucking uh, yeah, I, I can't. I can't work. I can't do it here. I'm fucking working in summer here. So yeah, same. I can't. I'm not getting fired for shouting something. But um, yeah, other than that, I think it'd be um, it's football videos, sit down, obviously. Um, as Aaron said, I'd love to do a few skits, um, just stuff like that. I think general, just videos that I would enjoy. Yeah, that'd like be good. The FIFA one was good. You yeah, the FIFA one definitely brought back nostalgia of old case like mm. that video. Then I think that was the kind of angry I, yeah, it was for. it was what I was going for just to bring back a sense of the good old days of YouTube where people would just yeah, not so much intentionally scream, yeah, but still scream and rage. Yeah. I think it's something we don't see a lot of nowadays. But um, I did want to do a FIFA Pro series. Yeah. So if you don't, I kind of. FIFA Manny, I don't yeah, know if you yeah. watch him with um, Pez Become a Legend. Mm. Same idea, except we're two very different people. Yeah. In the sense that he's calm and collected. I will smash a controller if I concede. Just remember that Outlast episode we did. Um, oh, and you couldn't of make course. that jump. Of course, the fucking ladder. The ladder jump was by far the most I've ever been pissed off <laughs> on this channel. But other than that, I do enjoy making stuff like sit down videos. Yeah. Um, Obviously, they're a little bit hard to edit thanks to 
my editing software, my brilliant, genius, state-of-the-art editing software that mm-hmm. apparently cannot balance frames or can't balance audio with visuals. But yeah, no, I, I do plan to do that. Obviously, like Aaron said, I do want to expand. Uh, do want to build the audience, do stuff that other people want to see, which is why I'm going to be asking and putting in videos a lot more what you people want to see. So obviously, if you want to help me out, that'd be great. If not, fuck yourself. <laughs> suck your mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Gareth, anything and, to add there? Anything? Suck your mom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want know something? I actually almost. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett. Hey, we just got exposed now. Garrett is there. Hey. Garrett. <laughs> Never mind him. Uh, <laughs> leave, leave him, boys. He's gone. Um, but like, yeah, the two of us are looking to expand. Obviously, we're gonna stay to our roots. You started doing horror. You're, you started on YouTube doing horror games. I started doing horror videos. They're still gonna be happening, but we want to grow our audiences as big as possible. Um, which is obviously proving very difficult. I've uh, been doing YouTube for nearly two years now. Mm. <laughs> Near, it'd be two years and two May. years, yeah. And um, been a year and a bit myself now. Yeah, I, I, we're still. Yeah, but look, <laughs> we're still making content. We're still enjoying it. We're like, still standing, boys. I've 130 something videos. <laughs> so I think I only have like 50 something. <laughs> yeah, but still, we're we're enjoying it. We're do we're gonna keep doing it. So we're uh, not going anywhere. Maybe maybe you'd like us to fuck off, but <laughs> <laughs> not happening, lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're. Or sticking around, but yeah, that is, I think, where we're going to wrap up the uh, the first ever Shy Talk podcast. We're going to keep doing this as much as we can. Obviously, as I mentioned, they're tough enough to edit and get done. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, subscribe to me, and subscribe to Jack in the description down below. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will catch you later. And that's a wrap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought I broke Garrett's room. <laughs> I thought the darts went flying. <laughs>